Now I've got my Z80 playground here, um, memory stick plug, plugged in, uh, all ready to go, but there's no software on it. So I want to get some software, put it on and use it. Um, I was thinking of getting a text editor. Let's have a look on the internet and see what we can get hold of. Well, here we are on a website, uh, zimmers.net, which claims to be specifically for C128. So I guess that's Commodore 128 CPM, but I think uh, it's CPM, isn't it? So it should work. Um, here's a few. There's a, the first one looks like a specific Commodore 128 one. There's a Dr. Dobbs one, which I don't really fancy. But what about this Express 11 Arc full featured screen editor? Let's download that. Right, so I'm on my PC, obviously. Um, I've downloaded that ARC file, and let's see how big it is. 114K. Let's um, see what we can do with it. So what I need to do is pull out the USB drive from here, put it into my PC, and we'll save it onto the O disk of the Z80 Playground. So that's CPM, disks, and then O. Take that out of my PC, slap that back in the Z80 Playground. We'll have a little boot up and we'll see what we get. Okay, so I'm capturing the Z80 screen, Z80 Playground screen now. So if we start up CPM, change to our lovely O drive, there's our ARC file. So if you do unarc, which I've got on the A drive, so I can use that directly, express 11arc that shows you what is in the archive, but doesn't unarchive it. Because you have to do unarc express 11arc uh, o colon to tip it off that you actually want it to do some work. Do it. There it goes. So it chugs through there. I've always found that this archive program does quite a bit of work. As you can actually yeah. see, the Z80 Playground light. Is flashing away on the disc so it's it does all the work it takes a little while for some reason and also usually crashes when it gets to the end even though it's done it properly so we'll see what happens this time uh, you can see each of the files coming out crc so they quite often have a crc check in them but i've never found any purpose for that we've got e.com which looks like the editor econfig1.com is probably for configuring the screen and the various other bits and pieces don't know what that Oh, there's a document on how to use it. Roth4.com, why is that? No idea what Roth4.com is. And term.dat is probably the, oh, as I predicted, it, it crashed at the end. Um, it always, I don't know why, but that particular unarc version I've got there always needs a reboot when it's finished. But does the job perfectly. Don't know why. So there's our files. Let's run it. E. E.com. So we've downloaded it off the internet, we've copied it onto our Z80 Playground, we've unarced it, uh, it's from 1984, full screen editor, sales version 1 is strictly prohibited, oh, it's only a cut down version of version 2, how annoying is that, now, this is a classic CPM kind of thing, obviously we've not got the terminal set up right, in fact it seems to reckon it's a Heath 19 terminal, can we control C out of there? Mm. We'll restart. Um, I think we're going to need to configure that. O colon. What was that configure program called? E config. One. Uh, terminal. So when you get these kind of terminals, I, what I'm looking for is a VT100 because that's what I'm using TerraTerm and that's VT100, but ANSI usually does pretty well as well. So this number seven is ANSI, we'll go for that. I don't see a VT100 limited, listed there. Do you want to modify the definition before installation? Probably not. Mm, exit. Mm, let's try again. Uh, oh, that's looking better. File to edit. Uh, well, we'll make a new one. Create a new file, yeah, obviously. Hmm? <laughs> what is all this lot? Type escape to resume editing. Okay. So, hello. So, if you're working, let's check. Uh, test the delete key, shall we? Ooh, I'm not sure that's working. Hmm. Might have to configure the delete key, that didn't seem quite right. 
How do you reckon we save? Escape. Oh, what's this block? It seems a little bit wrong, doesn't it? B move, B delay. Oh, there must be block. Block save. Block copy. Buffer commands. End new. End quit save. A for save, maybe? No. Capital S A for save. I think it was SA to say it was very unusual. Q for quit, do you think? Quit, yes. Did we make? We did. New.txt type new dot. Yeah. Hello, testing. Oh, well, it did work. Okay, so that's an editor. I managed to get that off the internet and try it out. Uh, but it's that was reasonably straightforward, but it's, it's sometimes a bit more complicated than that. So let's let, take a look at another one. So what I've found is this Sam Coupe website, which has got some Infocom games on it. And Sam Coupe was some bizarre computer from that seemed to be a CPM computer that was released about 10 years too late. But the Sam Coupe has these Infocom games available, and I quite fancy playing some of those. Yeah, so here we go. We've got um, The Lurking Horror. Planetfall, everyone says that's a good one, I've never played it. Sorcerer, Spellbreaker, we've got all sorts of good stuff on here. So let's see if we can get hold of one of these and play it. So Sorcerer, if we download that. No, let's go for, let's go for Planetfall. So when I download Planetfall, I've got planetfallA.txt, a CPM file, and planetfallsolution.txt. Um, but I've looked on this website, and normally CPM files are... a CPM version 3 file, but not on this website. There's something else completely different. So with this funny kind of CPM file for Sam Coupe, for some reason that's actually one of their Sam Coupe disk image files. You can see that it's 738, uh, 737k in size. And you have to type some kind of arcane command. So let me see if I can find the arcane command. Um, Sam disk file name. Oh yeah, okay. So we type samdisk, uh, planetfall, um, and we'll call it planet. In fact, let's just call it pf for now. So that will turn it into a disk image. So look, did that work? Yes, we've got a pf disk image. So that is a CPM disk image. Now what we need to do is extract the files from the disk image and get it onto the Z80 playground. It's a bit of a blabber. Right, so now I've got a different program. This is CPC XFS, which is some kind of disk transferring program. So CPC, and where is it? There it is. So get that going. And what this does is this will open up a disk uh, file and it will extract the files from it. So we need a few more arcane commands. Uh, we're gonna open it. Uh, with the name. So what I discovered is with this one, open minus F for the file. Then you've got to say what format it was in, and I discovered by trial and error that the ones from the Sam Coupe site are in PCW3 format. So what do we call it? PF.disk. And that is now open, and we can look in it, and we can see it's got a planet 128.com, plan 64.com, and a planet.com. So next on the list of arcane commands, uh, we just have to um, extract it with an mget command. But what I've done is I've made a folder called pf. So I'm going to cd into pf. Uh, working directory is now pf. And then mget star dot star. And that appears to have done the job. It's got me out. Plan I think what I'm after is planet.com. I'm not sure about those plan 128. I guess they're for the Commodore 128 or whatever. Um, so plan, planet.com looks like the one for me. It should be a dat file. Oh yes, there is planetfall.dat. Perfect. Yeah, it feels like a, some kind of software archaeologist trying to get these programs out sometimes, but I think I've successfully done it. So now in my on my computer, in the PF folder, I've got planet.com and planetfa.dat. Now I reckon all I need to do is copy those two onto my USB drive and I should be able to play it. Let's try it out. Right, so I've copied that onto the USB drive, plug that in there, copy it onto the O drive again actually. Reboot that and we'll see what we get. So where are we then? We have copied it onto the O drive. Uh, what have we got? 
I've still got the other stuff, but uh, planet.com and planetfa.dat. So I think it should be as simple as typing planet. I never understand why these Infocom games always start with a 7. Planet 4, Infocom, Interactive Fiction, 1983, serial number 851003. Another routine day of drudgery. Mm.